Here we go, but it's reality. Oh, who needs barley and beaches when we got each other, right, babe? <laughs> right. That did sound convincing, didn't it? Very nearly, love, yeah, very nearly. <laughs> well, made it back then. Hey. Yeah, sorry, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a postcard. Oh, well, don't hold your breath. We didn't have much time for writing, if you know what I mean. Yeah, all right. A bit too much info. <laughs> Selling off the idea of breakfast. <laughs> Here I am. See ya. <sighs> Listen, love, why don't you go in? I'll uh, bring the suitcases up, then we'll go and check to see if the factory's still there. OK. <laughs> Maybe you can wear your sarong again, you know. Did you wear a sarong on holiday? Yeah, once. Yeah, she just a bet. She said, would you wear it to dinner? And so I did once. I suppose if it works for the Beckhams. Well. What do you wear underneath it? Do you just wear Grundy's or do you just let it all kind of... Here, keep the change. Mm. Swing low, <laughs> tiny chair. Oh. Mummy, I thought you were still in bed. I went out for a walk. Are you OK? You don't look well. Yeah, I'm fine, sweetheart. <laughs> I think I just had a dodgy kebab last night. <laughs> Thanks for covering. I didn't do it for you. Where were you? At a maze. Where's Lily? Asleep. But congratulations, remembering you've got a baby to look after. Well, we can't all be as good a mum as you now, Gail, can we? I am just trying to stop my son ruining his life. I will not be made to feel guilty for it. And what about my feelings? What feelings? All anybody ever gets from you is anger and self-pity. Do you know what? It's getting very boring. Right. How about I get started in here and you two do the dishes, yeah? Why do we have to do the dishes? Because we're the gays. Yeah, that's, like, so homophobic. Although I do look fabulous in Marigold. Sean, I don't care who does what as long as this gets done before my mum gets home, right? When's she due? I don't know, sometime this morning, I think. Hey up. Morning, my beautiful boys. You OK? Sleep all right? Does she look like she did? Look at the date of her. No offence. I know I look awful, because that's how I feel. But I suppose that's what happens when you've got a heart that's been rent asunder. Mm. She means upset. Yeah, I know, I'll get that, Sean. Well, if it helps, I've left a message at work saying that you won't be in today. And I've got the day off, so you won't be on your own. Do you want a cup of tea or something? Oh, I appreciate what you're doing, but you don't have to fuss. Just have to stay centred and accept that this is merely an emotion that will pass, leaving me with a deeper understanding of myself as a strong, independent woman. Mm -hmm. Hiya! Oh. Um. What has happened to me house? Oh, Eileen! Why are you wearing my dressing gown? It's all over. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> over. As far as kids go, you're better off having a girl. I'm dreading the next couple of years with our Craig. Why? Well, he's at that age, isn't he? Hormones and testosterone racing. And he started looking at girls in that way and all. What way is that? <laughs> Maybe he just needs glasses. <laughs> you finished that order yet? We've only got one pair of hands. We're behind, and we need to get this done before... Before what? The real bosses get back. What's the matter, Sal? Scared to get in sack? No, I am not, because I know that Carla and Peter are aware that I'm a very integral person to this factory, thank you very much. Er, uh, that's lucky, then, cos, uh, they're here. Hey, hey, yeah, all right, panic over, we're back. Hi, all love. right, Hi. ladies, hey. and me. I was almost glad to see you for a minute. Oh, How was your honeymoon? Ah, oh, fantastic. Just what we needed. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, it really was. There you go. How was it here, Sal? Well, a few disciplinary issues that I shall fill you in on later, but apart from that, Ooh. all under control. Mm. Oh, well, we've got you a little something oh. to show oh. our appreciation for holding the fort. Oh, thank you. It's not lovely. Very expensive. Oh, thank you. Oh. All right, all right, girls. Lovely hey, you. to see you. What? Hold on a sec. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am carrying you over the threshold. This isn't meant to be done here. It's at home you do. This is your home. Now, <laughs> quick, before me back gives in. Oh, you shit! Oh! oh, you Does that look straight to you? Well, it does if I sort of lean my head that way. <laughs> Thanks. I'll give it a week before someone nicks it and dumps it in the canal. Oh, cheers for the vote of confidence. Yeah, I'd like to speak my mind. 
I'm not the only one. We come here at a bad moment the other day. I've been thinking maybe this training idea wouldn't be such a bad thing. I mean, it can't hurt, can it? Only if you do it right. Look, I'll tell you what, why don't I pop by the bistro later and we'll sort some times out on that, yeah? Oh, that'd be great, yeah. Ah, right. oh, that looks lovely. Mm. Reminds me, I better do mine. Why? Come much to celebrate? I don't think he's feeling very festive, don't worry, it's not you. Isn't it? Hi, how's it going? Well, I'm rushed off my feet. I don't know how I'm going to get this lot done. And I've got to go into town and get Fizz's Christmas present. Oh, what are you getting her? Guess. <laughs> well, this could be a real long game time. Yeah, well, all right, yeah. Don't tell anyone. OK, OK. Food blender. Right. And what's wrong with that? No, nothing. It's, it's good. Well done. What? What? You... Nothing. Hi. How's your holiday? Oh, honeymoon. Yes, great. Thanks. Don't bite. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. I've got to go see Simon. Right, well, we need to talk. <sighs> what about? Well, what do you think? Look, I can't. I'm in a hurry. Right, Peter is important. Yeah, so is my marriage. Really? Mm. Since when? Look, I'm sorry, Tina. I've got to go. And uh, half a scoop of lemon bonbons. I know I shouldn't, but it's my one weakness, having a sweet tooth. I wish I could say the same. You don't drink that much, Rita. <laughs> Who said anything about drink? <laughs> Is that Gloria back there? Unfortunately, yes. She's talking to Dennis about this concert or whatever it is they're trying to get on. Oh, is that with Richie's group? Well, I wouldn't call it a group, exactly. A one-hit wonder from way back with his mate on guitar. Not a lot to get excited oh, about there. Still, be sure and keep me informed when they set that date. <laughs> I'd hate to miss out. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Gloria will tell you all about it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I heard that, you know. You heard what? You trying to rain on our parade. Oh, it's a parade now, is it? Mm, I'm getting very negative vibes here, Dennis. Uh, should we reconvene later at the bistro, finish talking there? Uh, OK, see you later. <laughs> negative vibes. She'll be wearing a caftan next. She's just excited about the gig, we both are. And I'm pleased for you, love. I am. Ah. Just... Don't get carried away with it. Rita, this is rock and roll. You can't just play it safe. Oh. Peter Barlow in a sarong. Oh. Just when you think you know somebody. I know, it's mad, isn't it? Mm. Mind you, look like they enjoyed themselves. Couldn't keep their hands off each other on the way back from the airport. Oh. Lucky swine. <laughs> Don't tell me Shannon said that. Ah, uh, could you change that barrel for me? Deal. You're quiet. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Do you really want me to answer that? I don't know what you're on about. Well, Peter Barlow's back. You're in a funny mood. It's not really rocket science, is it? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Peter Barlow can go and whistle. I don't want anything to do with him, OK? Right, now, can I get on with my job? Oh, knock yourself out. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I think we're getting there. So you're ready for the big day then on Friday? It's left to be. Oh, do you know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. And if you don't pass first time, you can always try again. That's an option I'd rather not consider. I'm going upstairs. All right, love. Is everything OK? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just worried I'm putting him under too much pressure. This test is always thinking about it. It won't even be his idea to start with it were mine. Oh, he's only doing it because he loves you. I know. I also know how bad he'll feel if he doesn't pass. Mm. Cheers, mate. Thank you. So. It's all right, I don't mind. I don't blame you if you don't want to sit with me. I don't want to sit with me either, only I've got no choice. Someone feeling sorry for themselves? <coughs> Hardly surprising, is it? I made a mess of everything and why? Because I was too much of a coward to tell Julie how I really felt, and now I've lost her. Yeah, well, I don't imagine she's feeling too great either, thanks to you. You're right. I don't deserve any sympathy after what I did. But I tell you this, Marcus, I'm really going to miss that woman. Then maybe you should try telling her. She won't listen to me. Well, she might. There's one thing Julie's got bigger than most people. I know, and I'm really going to miss that as I'm well. I'm talking about her heart. All right. Upside down. 
Well, so you're treating us to dinner and all then, Mrs. C? On your bike, Tinker. You've already got your presents off me and Peter. Anyway, it's Mrs. Barlow now. Oh. You lot seem in a good mood. Yes, yeah. that's because love is in the oh. air. Should have seen a fella earlier. Picked her up in his arms and carried her into the office. Sort of like officer and a gentleman, only in reverse, because he carried her out of work, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, it's dead romantic, and uh, even I thought so. Mm. He was like that on our honeymoon and all. It can be right softy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough about my love life. Why don't you all just bog off and I can order some lunch? Right. Can I have an orange juice while I wait, please? Eh? You can. You yeah. share that lot. Yeah. You all right, Tina? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Never been bad. Peter <laughs> <laughs> getting out the sea after a swim. <laughs> You can see he enjoyed the food, especially in them <laughs> trunks. Oh, and I guess Steve's harbouring a six-pack, is he? That's more like a keg, if I'm <laughs> honest. <laughs> she boring you with all of these snaps, right? Oh, it looks lovely. Oh, it was. That's the second time that's gone off. Something important. No, nothing. You all right, love? Yeah, I've just got a bit of a headache, that's all. Well, why don't you go back to the flat, take it easy? No, I'm OK. Well, it's probably just jet lag. Go on, I can finish up here. Oh, I said I'm OK, really. Ooh. Now, your first domestic. Oh, shut up, you. Go on, I'll be a couple of hours, Tops. Go. Okay. Right. See you later. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. Pete's drink for the rang. Wants his speedos back. Oh. <laughs> oh, please, you're supposed to delete that. Come on. Not a chance, May. I'm going to use this as evidence against you in case you think of running off with another woman. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy. Where's Max? In his room. Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? What do you think you're doing? You first. What? Kylie! This place is a mess. You're a mess. And if you can't be bothered about yourself, you need to look after those children. What do you think I like feeling this way? Do you think I'm having a good time? Well, guess what? It's not all about you. We have to move on. Not just for David's sake. For all our sakes. Well, you might be able to do that, but not me. I just feel so betrayed. I can't get over the fact he lied to me. Yeah, he's a man, it's what they do. He's lied to you before, remember, about having the snip, which, by the way, could still be arranged. It's nice of you to offer, but no, I wouldn't want to see him. Hampered. Oh, don't tell me you're feeling sorry for him. You know, he's a lying, manipulative spy. I'm sorry to <laughs> interrupt, but, um... Julie? Brian. <clears throat> Could I have a word with you in private? Whatever you've got to say to her, you can say in front of us. <sighs> Very well. I know I've behaved terribly. But I don't want things to end like this, with you and me not talking. Whose fault is that, eh? It's all right, Eileen. I can handle this. <clears throat> Whose fault is that? It's mine. But please let me explain, at least try and make some sort of amends. Brian. It's too late. Now, please just leave me alone. If that's what you want. Doesn't that feel better? Yeah, much. Well, me and Nick haven't agreed to having a gig in here. I know. I, I just made an executive decision. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not an executive, are you? You're a... Well, I don't know what you are. I'm sorry. I didn't think it'd be a problem. Well, it is. We're just talking about a little intimate get-together, you know, a few guitars, a little sing-song. It could be very good for business. And you're a good businesswoman. Right, well, I'll have a think about it. Talk it through with Nick. Well, you will think about it. Yes. Lisa, can I get you a drink? Uh, not just yet, love, thank you. Oh, are you joining Dennis? Well, I was going to, but uh, I'm not so sure now. Things look a bit tense over there. Mm. I'm guessing you've heard about this gig. Well, it's all your mother and Dennis can talk about. You don't seem too happy about it. Well, I'm worried he's getting a bit, you know, carried away with it. Well, he's with the right person for that. Still, it's only for one day. How bad can it be? You know what? I think I'll leave them to it. Oi! 
You're 20 minutes late. Sauce. Listen, whatever's going on at home, you're here to work, so drop the attitude. Oh, I well, like you doing it, though. Right, what is your problem? You're looking at it. Are you stalking me or something? And what have you done with me kids? Me mum's got them. Where's Nick? Uh, he's at home. Well, will you give him a message, please? And this concerns you, or no? Well, now's not a good time. No, it never is. That's why I'm here. I am sick and tired of what's happening to this family. I've had enough. Please tell me you're emigrating. We are going to sit down tonight and sort it out once and for all. Well, I'm working. Yeah, well, this is far more important than work. Six o'clock, at home, don't be late. And tell Nick I want him there and all. Hiya, Mary. What can I get you? I, I wanted a word with Roy. Oh, well, you'd be lucky. <laughs> A glass of water. Sorry? You seem to have a cough. No, I'm fine. Actually, I wondered if you fancied being Kasparov to my carp off again, especially after our last epic battle. I'm not really in the mood for chess today, but perhaps another time. Oh, well, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Bye then. Goodbye. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit of a rest. How are you? Well, much the same as the last time you asked me, approximately an hour ago. Oh. Roy, about this driving test. What about it? I'm worried you're taking it too seriously. Oh, driving is a very serious matter. Statistically, there are more fatalities from... Well, that, that's not what I mean. A lot of people don't pass first time. I'm aware of that. What I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter if you don't either. It matters to me. She wants what? She wants a family get-together, sit down and sort out everything that's been going on. With David? Well, I think so. Oh, no chance. Nick, she was really upset. Upset? At, like what? Crying? No, upset as in really angry. What'd she expect? We'll just have a chat and forgive him? Yeah, but it's not just about you, him and Kylie anymore, is it? It's about them kids and all. Hey, hey, Liv. What are you doing back so early? There wasn't much going on, and I figured Sally could handle it, and I uh, thought you might be missing me. Oh, did you know? Yeah. I thought you might be pining for me with your big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Mm, this is me you're talking to. Oh, I don't know, love, I just... You know, last week, that was like a dream, and then we get back here, and you've got work and everything else, and then you think, well, is, is that all it was? Dream? No, no, rewind. What's everything else? It's nothing specific, just... I don't want to let you out of my sight, that's all. So, there, good. I said it. You still got a headache? No. Why'd you ask? Treat me like a poxy shop assistant. No, I don't. Rob, you barely trust me to lock up without looking over my shoulder. We're partners. I've always said that, Trace. So start acting like it. What can I get you? Wine. What colour? Red. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, there's no need to take it out on her just because you've got a cob on. Whose side are you on? Nobody's. I'm just saying, ease off a bit, will you? Do you know you? what? Forget it. Not in the mood. Are you coming or what? No, cos I am in the mood. Better make it just a pipe, then. You all right? It's not like you to take lip off anyone, even my beloved. I've got more of a mind than Tracy. Like what? Nothing that'll interest you. You'd be surprised. Ah! <laughs> now with the love birds, still nauseatingly happy. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Although, having said that, Carla's back behind a desk and Peter slipped off to the flat with jet lag. And the car loves the weaker sex. Tell me about it. <laughs> I could have you in a fight. Oh, you reckon, do you? No, probably not. <laughs> Is that all right if I come and break down? Yeah, come on. Ta. Now, I'm not saying that a blender's a lousy 
present, but it's not exactly exciting, is it? Joking, aren't you? You can do all sorts of them. Bananas, apples, make your own sauce. Look, Ty, all I'm saying is that you've got to think about Fizz on Christmas morning when she opens the box. I mean, you want her face to light up, don't you? So what are you saying? I should get her a lamp. Do you want to take this into the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Would you back up to it? Well, mm -hmm. there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Woo! <laughs> oh, can you believe that? Yes, I can. Just ignore it. <sighs> Come on, Peter. I know you're in there. Do you want me to deal with it? Oh, no. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, mind your language, cos it might be Emily collecting for the church, love. All right! Oh, sorry, Tina. Uh, what are you doing here? And we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>